Tinnitus, or ringing in the ear, is a fairly common problem that affects about 15% of the population, but only around 3% really are bothered by it. But sometimes when they are, it can be quite extreme. There can be sleeplessness, depression, anxiety, and a real disruption of a, of a person's life. In general, the tinnitus occurs because of damage to the ear from excessive noise, medications such as high doses of aspirin and anti-inflammatories, diuretic medicines like Lasix and certain of the antibiotics can contribute to this. Essentially what's happening is in the ear, the ear funnels sound into the eardrum. That, that sound is amplified by the bones of the ear and that eventually ends up stimulating the hair cells that line the cochlea. Well, those hair cells get damaged, and instead of sending the normal signal up the uh, auditory nerve, it, it, they send kind of a garbage signal, which is the humming, the buzzing, the, the, the noise that makes people so uncomfortable. If that, that buzzing is associated with a, a negative, unpleasant sensation, that's when tinnitus becomes a problem for, for patients. It's important to have the hearing checked most of the time there's there's hearing damage doesn't always have to be the case but most of the time there is uh, getting that corrected can be helpful having a doctor look in the ear if there's a wax plug if there's a hair if there's damage from q-tips getting that corrected can help reduce the tinnitus there's also some extra sound triggers like uh, grinding people who have tmj and grind their teeth Wearing a bite guard can help. Individuals with osteoarthritis or damage to the uh, the um, cervical vertebrae, it, it getting massages, relaxing the the the, the neck um, can can help to reduce the symptoms. The reducing stress. People who are, have uh, irregular sleep habits, people who have excessive stress, their tinnitus is just amplified and worsened. Um, so dealing with the stress, getting the sleeping under control, reducing caffeine and stimulants can help. There's also a very interesting notched music therapy that can help. And what what uh, you do is you take music that the patient really likes, and you find the the amplitude the decibels where the tinnitus is occurring and essentially extract that um, part of the music, those tones, and you let them listen to the rest of the music. And by listening to music that has been, that's had that uh, the um, amplitude of the tinnitus removed, the, it, it helps them have less, uh, they're, they're less bothered by the tinnitus and using this on a regular basis can help. So if you're experiencing a tinnitus and it's giving you problems, be sure and get in to see your doctor to get some help. That's a minute for health.